Welcome back, folks. That's right, it's semi-final time here at the 2022 Gold Coast Titans All Schools Touch Championships. And we've got a wonderful match out here, Field 1. Cleveland District High taking on All Hallows School. Two wonderful touch programs. You know, I'm looking across the field. We've got Jared Corby here in the near sub box. Apparently, he's the mad gun runner. I've been told the guy can run all the bridge to Brisbane's, all that kind of stuff. He's the man, and he's supported by Adam Pride in the near box. Go far side. We've got Ryan Moffat and Tanil Eads. You know, both hanging out there together. No doubt, you'll see the likes of Darty pop up somewhere. So great support for both teams. Um, both teams littered with players that performed in last week's national youth championships. Looks like Cleveland will have the tap off in this match. So Cleveland, number six, Phoebe Arnold, 23, Talia Butler, 19, Bree Caruana, seven, Ryder Finney, five, Sky Forsyth, 14, Ava Hoffman, three, Kate Johnston, carved in the last match, 22, Jada Little, 24, Millie Mangan, 12, Harley McElwin, eight, Summer Pride, 21, Mia Ross, nine, Georgia Thomas, and 46, Georgia Warren up for that. Cleveland District High, 15 girls team. So bang, straight away, they're straight out of there. So nice, happy to settle, two down the far sideline. Bringing it back to the centre here. Nice and controlled as you like. Boom. So ball's going to come back. Bang, running a rooster. Really close to the line though. Yeah, fifth touch. Just way too close on the plant. And there we go. Nice pop. Summer Pride goes for a rip. Bounces off the head. Could have got lucky with a deflection, but well done. We're going to go back to halfway for All Hallows tap off. And there we go. So All Hallows, 23, Claudia Ballin, 98, Gabrielle Blade, watch out for her, 78, Isla, Isla Danell, 60, Ella Denny, 28, Emily Kennedy, 4, Chloe Manicott, 27, Charlotte Pearson, 48, Audrey Rayfield, 51, Charlotte Richardson, 2, Caitlin Ryan, 29, Holly Seymour, 81, Georgia Solifa, and 17, Harriet Tate, for your All Hallows school girls, 15 girls team. Let's have a wee look. So just uh, about 12 out from the try line. Working, it's nice. Audrey into dummy half. Nice little pate back to Gabby. Gabby has a look around. And there you go. Okay, referee having a wee chat there. So here we go. The game goes live. Scores a nil all after the two tap offs. And we're going to see who has the best midfield defense. Trust me. It's the battle of the 10 meter lines in this 15 girls division. Lots of pressure in the touch. It's going to be a really physical game. So just remember on the other side of the draw though, we currently have. TC, oh, Kings taking on St. Aidan's. So there you go. Oh no, it's 15 girls division, there you go. I'll wait for those to come in. Nice, there we go. All Hallows, hot on attack, really nice set of midfield defense coming up to halfway, touches one. It's advancing towards the 10 meter line in the green zone. And bang, Gabby happy to take the hit on the far sideline there. Boom, nice touch and drive. And here we go, they've got the wheels turning. Cleveland are on the back foot. Picks, little wee step back, short, oh, nice. So yeah, Ella absolutely looking, going off that right foot. And nice, pushes up to make that first touch. So great work from the defense. Here we go, Cleveland, gonna punch away down this near sideline. Wanted an extra pass, and found it. Yeah, needs a bit of energy, ball goes to ground as she's trying to play it. So bang, nice quick turnover. See Charlotte into dummy half now. Really nice punch there by Georgia. And the ball's going to fling out to that far sideline. So I tell you, this is the semi-final of this massive tournament. So we're going to see fatigue set in probably a little bit earlier than normal. So look for it somewhere around the 10-minute mark, I think, to see. Oh, nice little pick out of dummy half. Summer Pride has a dive. Ho, 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 and gets there. So Audrey happy to run from half. And there we go. Summer wants to straighten it up. Kate's going to take that first hit. Nice and direct. Picks up 10 metres. Beautiful, there we go. Puts her team on the front foot, and then they come sideways. Bang, so that's two near the sub box. Nice release, getting around the back. Jade a little, just straightens things up. Ball's gonna be passed off to Phoebe Arnold. There it is, just takes a nice little one. Harley, getting into dummy half. Boom, Harley loves to run, watch this. She's gonna go, goes, oh yeah. Made it look like she was gonna go straight through the front door, but well defended by all hallows. Good angles, Arnold lifts nice and early. Extra pass though, they get in behind her. Well done. And now you watch Cleveland, they'll push, bang. Catching them on the far sideline and now they can just all in front of the ball compress and get up in numbers. So as you can see on the screen, all six players are compressed into that far half of the field. That's wonderful defensive setup. And then as they come out of their box, the winger will start to expand again. Boom, Ella Denny, she's taken off. She's getting into the backfield. What an awesome scoop. Players open, check ball. Oh yeah. Yeah, unlucky forward pass. 
But man, so she snuck into the end goal there. Probably could have gone deeper into the dead ball line, but what a wonderful moment. And you see, that can either do one thing for you. It can fill you with adrenaline and you're ready to go, or it takes the steam out of you. So I'm sure Ella, though, loves her touch footy. She'll turn and burn and go again. I'm sure the bros at home supporting her. You know, Dills and Tom, they're in there. They got her back. They're watching the live stream. I know they are supporting their sister. Nice. Bang. Gets the ball down. Here we go. Georgia Thomas looking to go. Nice little straight drive. Thomas loves a run. Picks from half. <laughs> Step back. Yeah, really nice touch. So there you go. Good turnover. Good field position for all Hallows. We just see Blade taking that first hit and they're looking to get across. Nice and controlled so far from the All Hallows crew. And there you go, on to halfway. George just wants to straighten them up. Nice plant. And now they're going to look to go out of the box. A little check back underneath. Going to have a scoop here. Joy. You can hear them out of the box. They're screaming for her to run. Get into this wing channel. Yeah, well rounded up on this near side. Harriet Tate just getting caught with the ball. Oh, yeah. Nice little bit of ball control. Made the fans nervous. I heard the groans. Two down this near sub box side. Bang, she's going to punch there. Yep, well done. So great defensive pressure by All Hallows. Oh, hands by Jada. Offside penalty here against. So there you go. And the referees are really close to the sideline. Both of them are within talking distance, so the defenders have no excuses for not hearing them. <coughs> Summer just takes the hit on the head. Bang, Kate has it at the moment. You'll see the energy turn with these two. Jada Little. Bang, ball out the back. Oh, just going to ground. So there you go. Nice first touch made. That's one as they approach the halfway. Two, five metres out from half. And a nice little settle down the far sideline. Charlotte Richardson as we see them. Nice punching and all subs are around the corner. Blade looking for the pop out. Audrey gets the ball. She's going to get him behind. Summer. Oh, there it is. And just a little pop out on the middles. There you go. Haha. <laughs> so really nice here. Have a wee look at the replay. This is going to look nice. I see the middles. So because they're looking to get so far across. Summer wears that one. Then Kate steps up. Bang. Just gets popped out. And Audrey sneaks around the outside into that link and middle channel. And any team that runs the pop out fly, we know that you've got to get your link defenders up to help you out. Though, here we go. Cleveland looking, they're going to, oh yeah, ball to hand, could have been in trouble. But nice work out there on the far side wing by Claudia. She's able to cover that far side. Force the error. So there you go, nice first touch, picking up seven metres by Denny. Though caught behind the ball, subs are having to run down the sideline to come in behind at the moment. Yeah, good D, just pushing on her own there, Harley is. She's got them all caught behind the advantage line. They just need one straight one for a pick, though. There we go. A nice little run. There you go. So Emily just looking to have a little go. Sounds like her teammates call her Millie. Bang, big touch there. So Charlotte starts to set with a bit of defensive pressure, and look what happens. So nice. We're going to see ball brought to the side here by Mia Ross. Good control. But just getting caught out. Yeah, Jada with that little one. Drives it. Phoebe Arnold with the ball at the moment. Going to get it down. Kate's going to set her up for another one. Looking to run the double. She'll get defender. Short side check, Kate. She'll look to go. Bang, straight into it. Advantage, play on. Over the top. Try time. There it is. Absolutely the play if you've got Kate coming in behind you. It's just a double. We look for her to have the dumper run the settler just to get the defense running backwards on four and then she can pick and go on five. Yep, offside play on. Nice little call. And boy, oh, winger was close though. Ball just getting down before the touch was made. Nice. Oh, Audrey sneaking in behind. So these two work really well together. So Blade with the ball at the moment. There you go, just chipping away. They're going to get down into strike position. So Gabrielle working in the middle there with Audrey. Just trying to pick her. Yep, moments. Turn around, looking for the follow underneath. Nice touch. See that space though between the link again and the middle on the far side opened up. Audrey's going to sneak on through. Great diving touch there by Kate. Golly, doing the scorpion as she made the touch. The feet flying back, nearly touching the back of her head. Phoebe Arnold though is going to truck it forward. Boom. Nice. And these are the moments. This is where the energy and effort comes in. Oh, I like the extra pass, but the winger just wasn't ready for it. She was moving into dummy half. 
So Blade moves the ball, there we go, and I said the fatigue was going to set in a little earlier in this match at the 10 minute mark, and we've just hit that 10 minute mark, so 15 left. So there you go, just remember, the great players play their best when they're feeling their worst. So when the fatigue starts to set in, they still know that their moments happen in minutes. So in this match here, you're only out there for a minute, you win your minute, you get off the field and you catch your breath. As you can see, so they get the ball right across that far sideline, so the subs don't have as far to get on. Through, nice play, all hellos, so we're sweeping around the back. The shapes are happy to run. Al is there in the middle, parking up, and looking to set up a play. Nice. Yep, looking to run the out ball. She's got the out ball. Bang, looks to run footwork. Ooh. There you go. First time you get that out ball, you want a goosey goosey run and create the three on two and get your defender to dive at you to make the touch. Knocks the wind out of them and terrifies them on the outside so you can step back on the next play. Yep, nice touch. Harley just losing the momentum there. Boom, nice, just picks it up. So Summer's going to chip away now. Yep, finding Harley down that little wink channel, and she can run, man. Boom, there we go. So sees. Nice. We saw a beautiful runaway try in the last match in the quarterfinal. And there you go. And Harley just picks one on the outside. Her and Summer run a nice little rap play there when the link comes in. And there you go. Once again, the connection between the wingers and the links. They're a subunit. They go together. No matter whether they're chasing out or chasing in or lifting up or going backwards, they are stuck to each other at the hip. So a beautiful try there by Harley. And you can see both teams picking up tries in their rucking just due to a disconnection either through the middle link channel or the link wing channel. <coughs> so nice, here we go. All Hallows need to get to the try line first before they look to play footy. A little bit far out. Audrey's going to sweep around here, link sweeper. Nice play. Audrey gets the ball, trying to attack the short side, stepping back between the middles. Nice diving touch made by Georgia Thomas. Yeehaw, good attack, good defense. When bodies are flying through the air, Hey, you know, there's the effort areas have been won by both teams. Kate takes the first hit, Georgia into half, picking up Jade around the back for two. Yep, and agrees with the referee. There was a penalty there in the touch, so let's go. Offside called, and Jada just takes that first hit. As the Cleveland State High School team near halfway. This will be touch two. Georgia just tucked it there and looked to go, didn't she? Some tired bodies out there, you can see it already. Nice, Kate's going to drop it back in. Gives her a chance to pick and go. And there we go, Georgia again. Looking to go back. So Kate's happy to take the touch. Georgia's going to play out a dummy half. Gives the ball back to her. Time for a tight play. Let's see what they're going to run. Could be a dummy the quickie and take off here from Kate. No, she's going to run four on three. Oh, yeah. I want to see her run with the ball before she loads that pass. So happy for the short side single skip pass that she ran earlier last game. But if you're going to run that one, take off, step back, load that big ball, and then let it rip. Nice all hellos, though. See them having to run down the sideline and coming in behind the ruck. You know, it means they're not advancing to where they need to be on their touch count. Little pop out again. Yeah, Denny happy to work inside with Gabrielle Blade. Scooping again. She's having a look. Wow, looking dangerous. Every time she touches the ball around this ruck set up, oh, just unable to bend and pick that one up. I tell you, she looks dangerous when she comes in. I like the little change up now, working together with Gabrielle Blade. Hey, absolutely the fastest Denny in the family though, as we all know. Boom, nice Ross just sneaking around, having a little look, bit of ball control. Nice, we're gonna see right then, Talia Butler gets the plant down for Summer Pride. Summer stepping back into number, that's what we're after. And ball just goes to ground. Defender was stationary when the ball was thrown into her, as opposed to her moving into the attacking line and then seen a repeat. Summer Pride lifts for that first touch. Great energy and effort. That's what it's going to take. There it is. Nice. You can hear the crowd get into the back of them. And that's what it takes. Look at these subs having to run down the sideline and behind play to enter the field. So it just shows we're not getting that forward momentum right. Boom. Great D. That's going to be five. They haven't made halfway yet. No penalties though. Beautiful. So you know the most common penalty on the touch field is on that fifth one because we've done so well for touches one to four. And we just get excited. Jump up, and off we go. So really nice work there. Summer Pride leading the defensive line. And now they're going to punch down into the try line and look for a try scoring opportunity. The score is only two tries to one. 12 minutes gone in this 15, sorry, 12 minutes left to play in this 15 girls matchup. Takes the line and a little wee dive. Yeah, right there though. Right on the spot. The big hand went up as well. So let's see, happy to run. Having a look, Summer just trying to sneak through. 
Golly, asking the question though, but Chloe Manicott more than up to the task out there in defence. Boom, nice, a middle settler. They have to go again, and this is where Cleveland have just been awesome. Every game they've played. Bang, look at this, and they're working. They're working really, really hard in twos and threes. Bang, we see two pushing up, caught behind the advantage line. Two are going to come again, and that's way better. Yeah, there it is, nice. All hallows, Audrey comes wide with the ball and picks up a nice 10 metres that was needed. But bang. So I reckon they're going to have to go to a direct arrow set if they want to get the game back under control, all hallows are. They can't keep trying these runarounds or trying to go down that far sub box side as we saw in the last game. As soon as they square up their rucking, they're going to put Cleveland on the back foot. Nice, here we go, girls getting together. There we go, Harley with the plant, counters four, now she's going to look to go. Bang, splits open, Georgia uh, just gets caught on the try line. Referee has a couple of options, he's going to go with a touch pass. Oh, forward pass, there you go, could have gone either way. So here we go, another big defensive effort coming. Boom, there's one. Now they'll go sideways. Oh, that's better, there we go. So they've got to punch those first two. That's what we spoke about before they go sideways. There it is for three, nice. And four's going to bring them towards the halfway line. Bang for four. Nice, time to strike. Go nice and straight, Charlotte Richardson. Denny looking to come out of dummy half. She does have the short side open, steps back. Ball player, boom, oh golly. I love the way she attacks the ball with the energy. Gets nice and low. And then she can scoop and sprint because she's so low to go. And then wants to step up and make that first touch too. Just getting through heaps of work, Aladini. Nice little dummy there, Jade a little. Oh, caught on the back though. And we see the ball go to ground. <laughs> hey. And it's funny, if she wasn't really trying to get the ball, you'd think she was doing a little bit of time management, but there you go. Yeah, nice lift there by Cleveland. And look at these two punching far side. And there you go, Summer's going to go again. And we see, oh, there it is. There you go, quick turnover. And the girls are just going to knock away. So ball control on the turnover. Sees Cleveland hot on the attack. That's right, Mia Ross with the punch. Kate coming in, she could have gone and passed. Extra, there it is to the winger. Sky Forsyth in this near wing. Wicked. And you know what? Defense absolutely wins championships. It takes all, everyone on your team, all 14 players, to get up and help you defend the opposition. And then it just takes a couple of key attackers to win those moments in these big games. So Cleveland are just getting on the back of their defense. Every single set, all of them are working hard. They're all getting up as a team. They're connected. And that's the difference in this semi-final at the moment. Sees them take a two-try advantage in this 15 girls semi-final. Currently three tries to one. So, but we know all Hellos can score tries. Got no drama. They got the guns out there. Nice. Ella gets the two play on calls and advances towards the seven meter line. They're going to pop it back in. Ella's going to look to go off the back of Blade. Blade runs a quickie, attacks the short side, steps back. And she's right there. Quickie, there you go. Step back, try. And Jada was just a little bit too tight. Uh, sorry, too wide. Needed to be tighter. So Ella goes straight down there with Gabby and straight away they can score a try. It's just like that. So all we need to say is these players need a bit more time, but what I would say, they've just deed a massive set. They attacked a massive set out of the box, then deed a massive set, got scored on, they're back to attack a set, and they're just going to do a lot of work. So we know you're inside the last 10 minutes, but, you know, big players play big minutes. Nice. So we see Summer coming back in. Nice plant to the ball, getting back in front. Nice. Out to Bree Caruana. Don't worry about the hooter. It's a dead hooter. Zach, Zach! Zach! Sorry, I'm just talking out to the referees. Ignore the siren, accidental siren. Disregard the siren. There we go. A little bit of a muck up. We've got to come back and play the ball. And that winger's taking off down the field. She's like, free play. I'm with her. There we go. So here we go. Disregard the siren. We're just going to get the match back under control. Kate Johnston working with Summer Pride there in the middle. Going to come out. Phoebe Arnold looking to play. And the ball's going to go down there. So, wow, there was a moment. I tell you, seven minutes left in the match. Just a little bit tricky technology. Nice first punch, though, by Ella Denny. You can see the momentum slowly coming back. This all Hallows girls' way. And G Gabrielle just sneaks down that far sideline, picks up a couple of extra metres. The girls break, break the box. Audrey picking up some nice sharp metres on the fifth. 
Great scoop there though, Emily Kennedy. And she looks like she's fast. She wasn't even in the top gear then. Nice, so there we go. Kate gets the turnover. Good field position for Cleveland. That's one as they advance into halfway. Arnold with the ball at the moment. Great touch though on the back by Kennedy. Jada Little just coming out of the sub box. Picks up the touch by Audrey. Getting uh, heavy in the touch. Thomas has the extra pass. Harley has the space. She's looking to go. Oh, Audrey right there though. Man, so scores are three tries to two. Cleveland State High over All Hallows in the 15 girls matchup. There you go, Georgia Thomas goes, gets into the end goal, looks for an extra pass, boom! Forward pass though. Absolutely forward pass, yeah, bummer. So we know they're gonna D the house down here. Watch them compress towards the All Hallows sub box. All Hallows need to take two directly straight in front of them before they go sideways. If they go sideways straight away, then they're going to get caught. There it is, two forward punches. Well done. And that's the difference with their rucking in the last couple of minutes. Three down the sideline. This will be four just in front of halfway. Nice. Harley working hard. And they're going to have a strike dump here. Denny looking to go out of half off the back of Blade. Picks, takes off short side. Has a wee look. Harley plays the ball. Oh, sorry, not Harley. Damn. So Ava Hoffman jumped at the ball there, giving the ball back to All Hallows on a recount. Golly. So here we go, five minutes left in this 15 girls matchup. All Hallows chasing one try to push it to a drop off. I'm gonna tell you, these two scored a quickie step back before. Oh no, it's a different player out there with Ella, but Ella's got the money. It's all happening around here at the moment. So Charlotte Richardson has the ball. Ella's in half. I'll be looking for that quickie step back again. They've got the same defender in at link, Jada. What's happening here? Harley wasted herself in that last little dive. Yeah, they're just gonna have a fresh sub change. So we identify things as coaches, like we've got Jada back out in link. She wasn't there for the quickie step back because she's really high at the moment. So she can't help in the quickie step back. So bang, they'll split open, give the ball. She can step back there and that's that oh, space just outside Thomas there. On this near side was the hole. So great defense though. Cleveland up to the task and they just need to leave the ball on the other end of the field. Coast to coast, end to end. And there you go, Denny pushed up. Put pressure on, still forced the ball to go to ground. So nice, here we go. Cleveland are up by one though. No need to panic. They just need a really nice clean defensive set. So my concern obviously is they run high middle, high link, and the link just can't help out post touch. There, get to this side, big corner by Little. Thomas is in tight. There it is. Nice, B. Johnston on the touch. All defenders squeezing now. Ella will step back. Bang, good touch by Kate. Man, and that was lucky because Georgia wasn't there to help her. So like we said, fatigue zone sets in, it's corner shark defense, but great work there by Kate on the D-line. She needs to step up. Big corner there on the link, and she can make the save touch. Oh, ball just going to ground, though. So Charlotte diving nice and early, looking to slide over and just hit the deck, unfortunately. So we'll just see a medical sub, no dramas. Nice work, Cleveland have the roll ball. So, two and a half minutes left in the match. Cleveland need to go coast to coast, leave the ball down the other end. No panic passes and no pressure. Go Georgia, go Georgia, all the way. Winger's coming across. Is the winger gonna get her? Great touch though. So that's Suzu down the right end of the field. Nice, now they've got great field position. They can just ball control. So ball control here by Forsyth, well done. Arnold has the ball, gonna pop off to Pride. Pride loves to run. Bang, Harley's back out there though. Glad to see she's recovered. And now Phoebe Arnold comes to stand nice and wide in the link channel. There you go, gonna sweep around the back, watch the sweeper follow. She's gonna chase underneath, looking for the little plate. There, yeah, no. So we saw it work really well for them in the last match. But I reckon they've just gotta give that sweeper now and let her take. Great defense, the crowd's calling for it. They're baying for it. Nice, here you'll see Pride lift again. Has done all match, really nice touch. Helped out there on the far side by Bree Caruana. Boom, working hard again. And there we go, we see All Hallows caught behind the advantage line as they come around the corner. Looking for a scoop, it is the fifth touch. They're caught in their own half, trapped in their own half, I'd say. Gonna get out to their far side and just well round it up over there. Golly, it's been massive there, the amount of effort that Cleveland put into their defense. I tell you, they're invoking the Cleveland way. It is. Nice work though, there we go. Yep, Arnold's gonna punch away, gonna get to the try line. If Cleveland score here, the match is over. Absolutely, with a minute left to play. 
Bang. Nice work just to play tight. Counters five. You watch. They're going to back their defense here. Here, bury the ball in the corner. Back their defense to smash them out. Here we go. Massive defensive set. We see Sky Forsyth shoot up. She's supported by Pride. They're going to get the ball across, though. Caruana makes the touch. Here they go. Yeah, nice push by Kennedy. Looking for an outside advantage. Nice big dive there, though, on the far side. I tell you, Ryder, just when she's needed, her moment came. Stay out of the way. No penalties here from Cleveland. Audrey, good decision. Out to Blade. They're going to pop again. Audrey around the outside. And she's got the gas. Wow, there we go. Wow, I can tell you that was a moment. 20 seconds left in the match. Yep, here we go. So nice, all hallows have it. They got maybe one touch if they're lucky. There it goes. Blade comes out of half. Short side's open though. She's going to get to the end goal. Summer makes the diving touch. And there's the hooter. That sees Cleveland win the semi-final of this 15 girls match. Unbelievable. All hallows, man. What a crazy game.